Chester Knight joins us on the Crook and Chase Top 30 Countdown here on CFWE, part of our Aboriginal Spotlight. Chester, nice to talk to you again. How you been doing? Well, I've been doing great, uh, Wally. Uh, enjoying the winter. It's kind of sticking around over there. <laughs> but right now, it's, it's nice here. Yeah, I guess now that we've got spring here and people are going to be heading out there on the road, performing a lot of artists, uh, you've got a new song that you just released. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, called, sorry, it's called Indian Girl. And, um, uh, it's, it's a song about, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, Powwow Trail, um, how, like, you, when people go around the Powwow Trail, like, they're about 16, 17, they're holding hands and things like that. And that, and then, and then, uh, one time I noticed there was old people like sitting together in their lawn chairs watching the powwow, and so that gave me the inspiration to write about, uh, you know, the the eternal circle of, of love at the powwow trail. It's it's always there, and it's nice to watch. Well, powwow season is upon us, so it's quite appropriate and just quite fitting that uh, this song is being released now. Mm-hmm. Well, it's a pretty exciting release, too, because uh, the Saskatoon Native Theater, uh, they asked, they're they releasing a new play uh, called Crees in the, Cree in the Caribbean, and they're good, so they're going to be using this song in it. So tomorrow night is their opening night, and um, the song will be, will be uh, played there. So, so as a matter of fact, I uh, got, uh, got a TV interview because of the song and because of the play just at noon today so it's really building up to a nice 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 release well the song obviously then getting a lot of exposure and reaching out to other audiences out there i remember when you had first well not first recorded the song but you actually did uh a well you did an in-studio performance of that song for us here a while back so it's something that's a bit familiar there with our listeners but this is the uh i guess the official release of indian girl yeah it is yeah and uh We've ranged a little bit because at the that time it was, uh, you know how songs incubate. It was it was a new song at that time. It wasn't totally finished, and as as time went over, I, I found out that people really liked the chant part mm-hmm. of the song, so I extended the chant on the song at the studio and uh, put in uh, uh, singers like my son Lance and Danny and my wife Brenda and uh, another lady. Uh, Linklater, what, what do you remember her first name? Teresa Linklater, yeah. She's also on the album uh, Chanting, so it kind of gives more life to that chant. And it's real nice, really enjoy it. Oh, Just bringing the family kind of board. Fun. Yeah, it's kind of funny how a song can, you know, you do, do a little differently. If you do it a little differently, sometimes it goes bad, but uh, sometimes, but sometimes it, 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 you know, it perfects it. And, it's really a nice little diamond now, now that it's completed. Yeah. I'm really proud of it. Just makes it a whole new song. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, exactly. You're right there. Now that, um, you know, we got spring upon us here and 2015 is, um, you know, on its uh, d- coming um, summer season, traveling season, festival season, I guess you can call it, is coming up. Are you going to be out there on the road performing at all, or do you have any other recordings coming up down the road? Well, my, my main plan uh, is was, was to, to release a couple singles off this CD just to give it a longer life. And um, so I'll be going into the studio this summer and uh, trying to release the album as quickly as I can after that, now that give this a little about six months of play on the radio station and bring out the album that way get, get uh, more more bang for your dollar because it you know it costs about twelve hundred dollars a song these days and uh, so artists probably all suffer from that financial crunch well they do because it. obviously it's uh, money that they have either coming out of their own pocket or they're you know working you know, to, to get grants, um, you know, and doing all the work on their own. Yeah, yeah, that's the way it is. That's the way it goes, yeah. And and and, and not and, and everybody's pretty well, you know, it is, it's just the way it is up here in Canada and probably down in the U.S. too, but 
for shirts like that here. Grants help, but but you still need to put a lot of your own money in it into it. Yeah, and uh, the songs that you have out now uh, with Indian Girl is it available on iTunes or available download anywhere? Uh, yeah, I, I actually yeah, I just. Uh, uh, downloaded it onto CD Baby just like about an hour ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it probably won't be available for a couple of weeks. It'll it'll be available on all the all the all the uh, internet stores like Amazon and the uh, CD Baby uh, iTunes. CD Baby has a really extensive uh, market out there. Yeah, they do. A great collection, especially when it comes to um, you know Aboriginal artists. Oh yeah. For sure, and it's a really a good thing because, like, a lot of times, you know, when you sign with a record label, like I did earlier, um, you don't see any money for a long time, you know, as they recoup their what they spent on you. Mm-hmm. But in CD Baby, you know, you, you see it within six months. It's really good. It's it's really opened up a new market for uh, Aboriginal artists. Oh, that's excellent. You know, uh, if somebody's got a good song, it's going to be the song, like the music that that people are going to buy, and, and mm-hmm. not the artist, but the music. And, and, and that's going to bring a lot of life to a whole slew of new new stars yeah. in the future, I'm sure of it. That's excellent. And then again, just uh, gives you know artists like your yourself, who's been in the music business and been performing for, for quite some time as well, just uh, new ways of, uh, of reaching out and getting the, the product out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there, you also asked me if I'd be performing anywhere earlier too. Yeah, uh, I actually just did a show in uh, <laughs> not far from here at the Muskogon, um, and uh, I'll be doing shows in the in the U.S. and in uh, Rosebud and South Dakota. Um, I, I, <laughs> I think I'm a bit more exotic in the states because I come up in Canada, so I spend. They, they, they. I spend a lot of time down there during the summer months. Oh, okay. I think it's just because you come from a different country. I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess in the meantime, if anybody wants to keep tabs and find out uh, what you've got there on the go, uh, are you available on social media anywhere? Yeah, I'm on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. People just could keep connected. Okay, so they just keep connected there and get updates as to uh, your whereabouts and what you've got coming up. Mm-hmm. Perfect. I think we've got everything yeah. that we need. Okay, yeah. I, I just want to mention uh, Crees in the Caribbean one more time because, uh, you know, they're a group of uh, really accomplished actors and and just uh, for the public to support them, you know, as well as, well as support me too. And that's all I wanted to say. Thanks. And just uh, another way for them to hear your song, Indian Girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, one last time, that's the South Native Theater in Saskatoon. 